Aloise, <laughs> representative for Carol Miller, Tyler Orne. So we had a few more come in back here. Uh, Rome County Clerk Charles White Jr. Sheriff County, uh, Rome County Sheriff Brian Hickman. I see Commissioner Corcoran, Andy Corcoran back there. And so at this time, let us give a big welcome to the CEO of West Virginia Junior College, Mr. Chad Callen. Thank you. Um, before I give a few remarks, I just want to take a moment to thank some individuals in the room that have made this possible. Uh, first, from our Roan General Hospital team, uh, CEO Doug Benz, thank you, sir. Uh, Chief Nursing Officer Ray Hildreth, Chief Clinical Officer Julie Carr, and the rest of the team that's made today possible. Uh, from my WVJC team, I'd like to thank Samantha Esposito, campus president, uh, director of nursing Kristen Weiss, who is not able to be with us today, and our regional coordinator, Misty King. You know, I get to come to these events and talk about vision and uh, join in the excitement, but it's individuals like Samantha and Misty that execute day to day to make things like this possible. So, special thanks to them. And I also want to thank uh, some of the most courageous individuals in the room, and that's our students who are a part of the inaugural cohort that are joining us here today. Uh, we have Don, Tara, Tyler, and Savannah. Please give them a round of applause. So today marks an exciting and important day for this community. Healthcare systems across West Virginia are struggling to maintain a skilled nursing workforce. In a recent um, press conference, Governor Justice stated that last year alone, 1,700 nurses did not renew their nursing license. And he stated that 68% of them cited the reason for not doing so was because they were just plain tired. Nursing shortages have reached near crisis levels in many areas of West Virginia, which can cause a serious impediment to the quality of care and, uh, for our loved ones in our communities. Such severe challenges require bold thinking and innovative approaches. They require organizations to uh, question traditional methods and think outside the box. So today, in an effort to address this nursing shortage crisis, two leading community organizations joined together. Roan General Hospital and West Virginia Junior College celebrate this new 18-month nursing program which deploys an innovative model that will accelerate this community's workforce recovery. In this model, students will never step foot in a school. Never step foot in a school. Rather, all learning occurs within the walls of this employer and digitally so that students can more effectively manage both life and learning simultaneously. This model will open doors to the nursing profession which would have otherwise been closed. And the students, hospitals, and patients in this community will benefit from this more close alignment of the hospital and the college. I want to thank again the Roan General Hospital team for welcoming us into your community. Now let's get to work and let's solve this nursing shortage crisis together. And with that, I'll introduce um, WVJC's campus president, Samantha Esposito. Hello, everyone. Um, Chad stole my thunder a little bit. But first, I do want to recognize um, the current students of the program who are here with us today. Um, give them another round of applause. <laughs> Um, these students enrolled in a new innovative program in order to not only better themselves but serve their community during a time of constant change in the healthcare industry. Um, it is hard to believe that these students are officially at their halfway mark of the program, and I cannot express how proud of all of them I, uh, all of us are. Um, when Chad initially came to me with the idea for this innovative nursing program. Um, to say that I was not a little scared <laughs> um, at first, but my first call actually happened to be to Roan General Hospital, um, where I got to Misty King. 
And that, that was really the foundation of where we started kind of operationally discussing how we were going to run this program. With the instruction of Misty King, our students have been able to complete all of their lab and clinical experiences here at Roan General Hospital thus far. They have been able to gain the in-person, hands-on training portion of the program that is valuable and necessary in their educational journeys. This would not have been possible without all of the hard work and dedication of all of the nurses here. Under the leadership of Roan General Hospital CEO, Doug Bentz, we have been able to operate this model of nursing school and will continue to be innovative and creative in providing opportunities to this community and the surrounding communities. With that being said, I would now like to turn it over to Doug to talk about the partnership we have created. Thank you, Samantha. Uh, thank you, Chad, and thanks to everyone from West Virginia Junior College for providing Roan General, Roan County, and our surrounding communities this opportunity to bring higher education close to home. Um, I'd like to also welcome our distinguished guests uh, that were noted earlier, uh, hospital staff, uh, certainly the, the leadership team from West Virginia Junior College, but uh, again, first of all, uh, most importantly probably our upcoming uh, class of re future registered nurses that are, that are here with us today. Uh, it's nice talking about the future. I am going to talk a little bit about the past and where we've come, but that is our future, and this partnership is, uh, uh, is going to provide a pipeline of nurses and a pipeline of economic opportunities for our community in years to come. Um, again, let's, let's talk a little bit about, you know, in, in terms of, you know, today's about the future, but I think it should be noted of, of where we've come and, and where we've been in the last couple of years. I know everyone is tired of talking about COVID. Uh, and I'm not here to talk about and lecture anyone, but I am going to remind everyone where we've come. It wasn't but five months ago that our registered nurses, licensed nur practical nurses, CNAs, and, and, and other hospital staff was overwhelmed on a day-to-day -day basis with sick patients, with patients that were dying. Um, patients that needed our help and assistance. The healthcare system, including Rome General Hospital, was absolutely overwhelmed. Our emergency rooms were full. Our floor was full. It was devastating. Just not at the hospital, at our local nursing homes, have went through a tremendous traumatic experience. I think we're not going to be coming out of this and realizing the impact for years to come of what, what occurred within the, within the walls of our hospital and other healthcare institutions. You know, when you look at the people that, that were on the front lines, it was many healthcare disciplines, doctors, rad techs, lab techs, but for the most part, the vast majority of the people on the front lines were nurses. <clears throat> Nursing profession was there every day, came to work. Uh, without a doubt, they don't get the attention and the praise that they do, but they are truly healthcare heroes. They're heroes uh, at a time that our country and our community uh, was going through some very difficult and challenging times. They were there. They were the folks who ran into the gunfire, who ran into the fire. And those folks should be recognized and never forgotten. So I, at this point, I'd like for all of those nurses and current nurses that are in state. If you guys could stand and we can give you guys a quick round of applause. <laughs> Go Nursing is a noble profession, first and foremost. They give back to their patients and they give back to their community on a day-to-day -day basis. Not everybody is meant to be a nurse, but the folks that are, you guys are special people. I can say this, my mom was a nurse for over 50 years. Uh, she still has that nursing blood in her, in her veins of giving back and taking care of others. Uh, we applaud those folks that are entering in the profession. Unfortunately, what we just talked about, a lot of folks left the profession. They were traumatized, they were tired, that was noted. People working in their 70s or the 60s and 70s just had enough. 
it was tough, guys. I'm just telling you, it was tough. But that also is going to bring new opportunities, new opportunities for this graduating class, new opportunities for future graduating classes. There's been an economic impact because of this nursing shortage. Salaries have gone way up, and deservingly so. I'm not complaining at all about it. I am so proud that, the, again, folks can walk out this year probably making close to $60,000 as a registered nurse. That's a wonderful opportunity, a wonderful economic opportunity, and also an opportunity to give back. This program also provides opportunities for other healthcare organizations. I see Mile Tree is here today. Minnie Hamilton is in the county. Jackson General, Roan Family Healthcare. It's gonna benefit all of these healthcare entities, not just Roan General Hospital. This is a regional class, this is a regional uh, approach um, of providing an opportunity for folks to further their education in nursing. And it's also a tremendous opportunity, again, to, to give back to the community. We talked a lot about it's a noble profession. You can walk away feeling good that you made a difference. You know, a lot of folks go to, go to work. Uh, the purpose of their organization they work with is to make money. And there's nothing wrong with that. That's capitalism, I'm not politics, but, but for us, it's different. We come to work every day to help people to make a difference in people's lives. And that's special. That's what I enjoy coming to work every day. And that's why I have a tremendous amount of respect for our caregivers and especially our nurses. So again, thank you, West Virginia Junior College, for uh, allowing us this opportunity to partner with you. I encourage our community members to look at this program for an opportunity to give back to your community, to provide an economic opportunity for you and your family. And uh, again, just much respect for the profession. So with that said, um, that sort of concludes my remarks. Um, who's up next? I'll introduce um, Tyler Orn from Representative Congressman Karen okay. Miller's office. Thank you. And speaking next is uh, a representative from Congresswoman Carol Miller's office, Tyler Orn. Well, thank you very much. And, and the Congresswoman really regrets that she couldn't be here today. She, you know, she understands the need for, for health care workers and especially nurses in this critical time. And on a personal note, too, my, my mother is also a nurse, so I, I, I get it as well. But she wanted me to read this letter on her behalf. Dear friends, I was honored by your invitation to participate in today's ribbon-cutting ceremony, celebrating Roan General Hospital and West Virginia Junior College's partnership for a hybrid online nursing program. I regret that I am unable to be with you today, but I send my best wishes for a successful event. This partnership is an amazing achievement. At a time when our state and nation are facing a lack of healthcare workers, including a major shortage of nurses, this collaboration will help ensure West Virginians receive the proper healthcare and resources they need. I would like to thank Chad Collin, CEO of West Virginia Junior College, and Douglas Bentz, CEO of Rome General Hospital, for their leadership in creating this essential partnership. I would also like to use this opportunity to recognize and thank both the staff of Roan General Hospital and West Virginia Junior College for helping make today's dedication ceremony possible. Your commitment to ensuring our nurses receive excellent training and education to help solve our rural healthcare crisis is truly commendable. I am confident that all those who participate in this new program are in good hands. As a representative for West Virginia's third district, I'm fighting each and every day to ensure that all West Virginians have access to the health care they need. I am confident that this partnership will allow for a better standard of living and will be better able to meet the needs of our citizens. To all here today, please know that I will continue to fight for West Virginians on the federal level to ensure access to the highest quality of medical care. I'm honored to be your voice in Washington. Sincerely, Carol Miller, Member of Congress. Thank you, Tyler. 
Um, and now I'd like to invite to the podium representative from United States Senator Joe Manchin's office, Brian Alois. Well, good morning. Hey, who are we kidding? It's a great morning, folks. I am incredibly honored to be here today on behalf of your United States Senator Joe Manchin III to mark today's occasion to celebrate this partnership, this match made in almost heaven, if I do say so myself. Senator Manchin sent me down with the following greeting, and I'd like to read it on his behalf, and it says, On behalf of the citizens of the Mountain State, and as your United States Senator, it is my distinct honor to join you in celebrating the partnership of West Virginia Junior College School of Nursing and Roan General Hospital. For over 100 years, West Virginia Junior College has given its students academic options to meet the demands of an ever-changing, technologically driven employment market. I am continuously impressed by this educational establishment and the exceptional contributions made by its alumni to our home state. Moreover, I am grateful for the tradition of excellence upheld by the entire Roan General Hospital system, their administrators, physicians, and staff, as they continue to provide personalized care to the people of our home state. At a time when healthcare facilities are experiencing staffing shortages, training new nurses is imperative to maintain quality health care. The partnership we celebrate today will ensure that the citizens of the Mountain State will have the peace of mind the great medical care will always be available and close to home. I am proud of these two establishments for working together to overcome obstacles and meet the demands of our great state and those who live here. The partnership allows West Virginia Junior College to incorporate their 18-month nurse program directly into the hospital system, benefiting both students and patients alike. I wholly appreciate everyone responsible for making today's announcement a reality. Keep up the terrific work because you are making our state an even better place to live, work, and raise a family. May God bless you. May God bless Roan County. And may God continue to bless the great state of West Virginia. With warmer regards, your United States Senator, Joe Manchin III. Thank you. My mask. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Brian. I also have um, a letter here from Governor Justice, who wasn't able to be here with us today, but he would like to extend his remarks as well. So I'll read those on his behalf. As governor of the great state of West Virginia, I welcome you to the celebration of the expansion of this incredible program. I am honored to recognize this accomplishment for not only Roan County, but for our entire state. The expansion of this program will be a tremendous benefit to the entire state of West Virginia. The program's stated goal to address the struggles of rural communities have, have with attracting and retaining healthcare professionals is admirable. Equipped with the online schooling as well as a state-of-the-art mobile nursing lab, you have all the tools that you need to help rural students succeed in making a career in medicine for themselves. I commend those of you involved in making this ribbon cutting ceremony possible. From the founders of the program, professors and students, West Virginia congratulates you on a job well done. A program that allows students who live in a rural area to earn their degree while living in their communities increases the likelihood that those individuals will work in these areas and other nearby after graduation. On behalf of the citizens of the great state of West Virginia, I extend my most sincere best wishes. I'm confident that this program that started at Roan General Hospital will be tremendously successful. Sincerely, Governor Jim Justice. And so with that, this concludes this part of our ceremony. We're now inviting everyone to walk to the back parking lot with us where we'll actually have a ribbon cutting and take pictures. Uh, we also have the mobile, mobile simulation lab set up for tours so you can see the high fidelity simulation mannequins and get a sneak peek into what these students have been experiencing for the past nine months. Thank you all. And thank you, Doug, for reminding me. You could also, we welcome you all back here for refreshments that have been provided by Roan General Hospital after the, the tours and the ribbon cutting. Mm -hmm. I forgot to give you mine. Oh.